All right, guys. So should these fashion and sneaker trends make a comeback? This I like these. Like part five? Yeah. Six, I don't part even ten. know. But. These yeah. are my favorite ones. And we always seem to talk about one of the trends and it actually... Kind of no, 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 no. Yeah. It's like always funny when we bring it up and everybody, that's not even out. What are you yeah. talking about? Oh, the Chelsea boots. People feel some yeah. type of way. So yeah. Yeah. All right. So number one, G-Shocks. 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 So, uh, obviously, there was a ton of different models. You had the little square ones. You had the bigger the big military, face the ones, big face the big military. Yep. And then you had the, the middle point where a lot of people had collaborations with everybody. I mean, Bapes were really big. Yes. They still do like Herschel's and like... Just uh, what do you, what do you think it, about this? And what was your favorite model? It, a, a fair model has to be probably the square ones. Yeah. But the ones that's most hype is probably the ones the, the circle big ones. The circle, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know? But I think the collaborations helped. Yeah. Let's just sure. be real, man. The collaborations helped. Of course. But when you didn't have the money and we were younger, I felt like the G-Shock watches was a very safe and easy accessory to kind of match your outfit. It's, it was it's like the spoke. sneaker, the sneaker match head your watch. Sneaker. Yeah. 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 It, was, it spoke as like a. A staple piece on your wrist is you couldn't afford the Rolex. And, yes. And nowadays these, with the G-Shock, they're not hot because everyone got an Apple Watch and everyone whoa. got a smartwatch. No, no everybody has like real jewelry. No, I was going to say, get so much you see money. like 20-year-olds right. yeah. with There's Rolexes levels. now. The G-Shocks were G -Shock. like 50 bucks, bro. Right. And yeah. now people's like, if you rock a $50 watch nowadays, you're getting clowned on. Or yeah, yeah. I yeah. think, as well wear a bracelet. but I think back then we actually, wear a watch. <laughs> but back then we actually cared about telling time on our watch. I know when I wear my watches at business meetings, oh, me. I don't oh, use it to look at the time. The it's ice, just an accessory. The ice usually don't got the ice. <laughs> the dial. It's I like it's called swag time. I don't know nothing about models or whatever. I just know Richie had a white one back yep. in the day. The triple white, go clean. Out. No, triple white. white. Just... Richie said, "Richie said, look, I'm gonna let you borrow this because I know it's gonna add about 100 <laughs> swag points on you." <laughs> I, I had that thing for about, about three story. or four months, and he's like, "I gave it back to him off white. It was white when I got it." Came back <laughs> I, off -white. I forgot <laughs> about that. I did say it's gonna. Add You're a real friend for not asking about it, man. Oh, I, man. I wore that thing. Bro, out. you have great memory. I just I said, loved it, man. Because I add about 100 swag like, points. He's gonna add about 100 swag points. You sure you're ready for? I was like. I'm ready for I that. Need it, I need it. But just go at a party, I think. It was at a party, yeah. <laughs> Going off what you said earlier, though, I almost felt like when you wore a G-Shock back in the day, you just didn't really care about a Rolex and everything. Now, nowadays, it's unattainable. Well, designer's big. Yeah, you know, designer's just, big now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's big. When Louis's uh, your norm. <laughs> Crazy. You're What's Hublo? Your norm. Yeah. Exactly, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I'm kind of mad, man. I'm kind of mad because I was down with the G-Shock, There's man. some fire models still to the this day. The Bape one was fire. Don't oh, sleep you, on Bape. When you put the, uh, with the light on and it shows a the little head. The Bape one's hot. The Bape uh, one's hot. Don't, don't mess around. Get a little uh, Ben Bala collab. A little, little Jimmy Dang. Or Johnny Dang Johnny collab. Dang. You know, the yeah, ice Johnny Dang. I used to love, love ice down ones, bro. Don't sleep, man. And they were dope because you would just buy them and then you would just by the cover. The face. Yeah, the face. Mm -hmm. That's iced out. Interchangeable. Ice, oh my like grill. Old... I keep it so trill. Yes, sir. Hey, Dang. Man, don't get too much. <laughs> hey, you're, you're a little too man, bad. You, you know, know man, I like this trend. Huh? Bring it I like back. this trend. Bring it you back, You want to bring man. it back? Like the bring bulky ones, though? Anything. Your boy had a yeah, G-Shock like, brand deal. One, one, one of my early <laughs> brand <laughs> deals. Hey, you say a fat one. And Are they listening? And I'm not even saying this because, you know, I'm in contract. Because they gave you the bag. Contracts. You know, it was... It was, <laughs> it was no, I, you know, at the end of the day, G Shock is a good brand. It it's is. a really good brand. I mean, to collaborate is with this a sponsor talking no. or uh, <laughs> <laughs> did, did it whatever you gave him, let me get one too. <laughs> <laughs> it was a couple, few years ago, a few years ago, but I appreciate G Shock. I think that trend needs to come back. Man. I just need a little more dope. collab. That's all. I think, I think they came back I, with dope colors, like 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 little peach colors or no, little they olive do. colors. They have those some already. Ones. Oh, they I'm more like clear ones. They have a bunch of like the neutrals that are still hot. Okay, okay. Don't have, or I say one I collab like, away. Yeah. One, I one say bring it away. back because it's know. affordable and I like affordable. There's a yeah. lot of ugly your, watch companies. Girl? There's a lot of ugly ones. Big face, little mm -hmm. fake, like luxury At looking Nordstrom ones. Rackers. But G-Shock one is nice digital. <clears throat> they need to come back and tell them who the people are. G-Shock. I just yeah. need it to be analog. White it's it's going to become right, vintage we, pretty soon. We all soon. agree? Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah, back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. All right. So next up, we got... This might be one that they uh box logo man. Wow. Box logo man. Uh, mm. The box mm. logo. Box logo. logo. Man. We're talking hype box logo hype. You know what I mean? Obviously, at one point it was minimum a thousand dollars for the the colors that people wanted minimum. from the hoodies to the tees, and then they just dropped the uh, LSs recently. No one seen. You didn't even hear about that them. much. What are your that was the box logo that everyone has been waiting for. They're tired oh. of the t-shirts. They're tired of the hoodies. The long sleeves. They wanted the long sleeve. Even in the orange and the fourth green, like that's kind of fire, but just but you know. 
Not yeah. fire enough, Rich. Not fire enough. It just died down, man. It's just what it's a. Uh, it's what it's associated to, you know. Popular, cool kid that just got money and they want to throw it at like, it. It's like not, kid, it's not, uh, kid, like yeah, fourteen-year-old yeah, kid. The sneaker cons. The sneaker yeah. cons. The sneaker Connors. 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 There's so Connors. many Connors, Connors. out there. Right? Oh. It definitely seemed like there was a crowd that wanted to separate themselves with those sneaker Connors. You know that wear them. They Gross, were like, "Hey man, man I'm, I'm moving on to another brand or something." You but know what I, mean? I mean, for me, when I wore a box logo in 2017, 2018, oh, you, you box felt logos. some type of way. Honestly, oh, for sure, you felt like there's some power. No, I but feel now it. it was. I feel like Supreme is throwing down your throat every week. Every week you're forced happens, to buy something. Corporate, you baby. must buy. You must buy. You must buy. And I don't know. It just killed the value. I don't know. Something yeah, about it. It's like, do you want it to be hype right now, or are you cool with? You know, resale prices are very, very fair. Fair right now. I yeah, I've know. always felt like the peak of resale prices with box logos is what made me want them. It, it's what you're made so me. You're so hype. And I'm saying that's like the only piece. House of Honesty. House of Honesty. <laughs> right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man said Look. he liked the hype. I like that. When it comes to Supreme. Most of their stuff is is trash, in my opinion. But the box logo, it's like everyone, <laughs> okay, yeah. let them know how everyone you feel. knows what the box logo is. It it represents so much more. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta ask this question: When you guys see somebody, you know, like like some Connors, okay, you know, rocking it's just a box logo, how do you guys feel? How do you guys feel? What, what does it make you feel excited? Because you, you know, it's, back it's in about, the day, it's about your drip, it's about your swag, yeah. how you carry yourself. I would I would wear the pieces now, knowing that they're not resale value, but it's just kind of like, okay, well, I I could get it now. I know I'm gonna make it look. Lie, like how I right. wear it. Mm. So it's not it's not about the uh you know it's the, not the about sim- like the, the symbolism. Yeah, I hated the symbol of it. Like yeah, that's that made me anti Supreme. That's why I was rocking Bape when everybody was going crazy Whoa, with Supreme. Yeah, because it was like why Bape on my chest. I, yeah, I don't want to. You know, I was banging on my chest. Yes, sir. So I, I didn't want to follow the crowd, but now that the hype died down, like I call me a loser, whatever. I like that loser. it died down. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, I you know I say don't count them out. You know re- yeah. Uh, Everything recycles. For sure. I like we might have to hop on this right now. I like seeing it, when people wear it super casually. Because then it's like, yeah. oh, it's a light, yeah, it's a this is flex. like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's a light it's flex. Like, you know, to keep the theme of the video, though, it is, do you want the hype box logo trend to come back? Yes. No. You know what I'm saying? So let's answer that. Yes. I do. I do. <laughs> it was a good time. It was, good. It was man. It was I cool. Mean, good time. I, I like seeing someone pull out an old box logo if I see that. So, yeah, bring them back. Bring them back. I want to see the history of some older box logo pieces. Yeah. You know? I'm going to have to go and say uh, no. You know, there was a time wow. in uh, I said I'm off of them and I'm staying off of them. Wow. Dang. Oh, I think I'm only off of them because I can never get them anyway. Mm. So. <laughs> you couldn't get on. Yeah. I'm going to say yes because now I can't get them. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Prices have dropped a little bit. So get them, and then they come back. All right, uh, let us know what you guys think. All right, guys, so thank you for checking out the video so far. I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you guys are looking to learn a new skill right now, whether it's photography, starting your own clothing brand, definitely look into Skillshare. It is an online learning community for creators. You get to take online courses on your own schedule, anytime, anywhere, on specific subjects that you are interested in. One thing that's really cool about Skillshare is you learn by doing rather than being lectured. So instead of studying for an exam at the end, you're actually going to be completing a project. The videos are super precise, straight to the point. You got instructors like Gary V, Jeff Staples, so it is definitely worth checking out. All right, guys, so the first thousand people to hit that link in the description box below will get a free premium membership to Skillshare. It could change your life. All right, so next uh, trend, we get Selvage Raw Denim. Oh. I'm talking Mixed emotions, crispy. Yeah. The stiff crispy. Ones. I'm talking about they stand like stand alone. It's extra, extra starch. Bro, they'll stand without extra anybody. Stiff. Yeah. <laughs> anybody in them. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Levi's, Gap, Uniqlo, APC, Nudie. Right. A lot of people used to do this thing where they would wear them for like months at a time, uh-huh. even years, uh-huh. and then do their uh soak into the bathtub and it would reveal Explain. all the whiskers. Explain. Yeah. That, because give, we, give us some details. Raw denim is pre-soaked denim it yes. hasn't been washed it's so like it the purest a, form of a pair of jeans yeah it basically. has a lot of ink in it hence why it would just bleed Got all it. over your damn Got sneakers okay. yep. um so they would wear it you know do their bending and whatnot someone would put keychains Creases. in their pockets yeah. and then the once you do your soak the and then let it all the stuff drip out yep it reveals your you see the natural, but, but the you natural guys have, characteristics you guys have to understand how long you have to wear them though i'm talking oh, like if you were long? to still wear them every st- single st- day stinky, stinky time yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you had to actually wear them you every have some stinky ones i have some stinky Boys. ones i'm oh, sorry my, my bad go ahead my okay okay i was saying <laughs> hey, quiet time <laughs> quiet time i was saying if you guys i mean some people have to wear them every single day like at least very very least six loud months. and proud too 
like they will rock it. Let everyone be known. Like I wear this every single day. You see, you see the bleeding on you the sneakers. You see the bleeding, but <laughs> it was loud because it stank. I think when it comes to raw denim, it's the uh, it, it kind of matches everything. It kind of mm-hmm. matches. Sure. So you're able to kind of wear them every single day and, and not really be noticeable. There but, was like a whole community online about it, like yeah. especially with APCs. I was like, Ooh, the big sought after following mm-hmm. nudies, yeah. obviously. And some people would even cheat. There was this girl I worked cheat? with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You use like sandpaper. Mm, for sure. Mm. Oh yeah, the force, yeah, the stress. force, the mm-hmm. characteristics. That you was want. how the whole thing about like stuffing them into the freezer came about. Because they how smell. How are they gonna avoid this smell? A lot of people were like, "Oh, you just paid for experiences. You just for paid sure for instead of just doing it yourself." Yeah. Kind of yeah. reminds me of what kind of people do with the Jordan ones nowadays, right? But there, there's oh. like, de- oh, you, oh, you, wow. You, you know, you, you kind of got to fast forward. But there's, and, like, yeah, yeah. there's like dedicated people I read a long time ago that like wore them to sleep even just because you have to get the most wear out of. This is wild. I think that's too much. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. 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 I wore mine to sleep one time, <laughs> but I just one time. Family, man. <laughs> yeah. You probably got your bed all blue. No, I like it. Exactly. I like. I like it. I like it. I think they need to bring that back. I think the whole Evizu uh, kind of mm, coming back. Evizu, yes. That kind of helps. It yeah, sounds fun. Helps. So I said, bring it back. I know. Bring it back. All right, we all agree. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. DIY, DIY. All right, so next trend up. This was huge. Bond Dutch trucker hats, oh all right? So Ashton Kutcher's. <gasps> Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> the Britney Spears, the Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. Okay. Uh, these were about a hundred bucks, really mm-hmm. big at the time, like affliction and like traditional tattoo oh, yeah. clothing was in. Um, these were really big. In 2016, Kylie Jenner was paid for three Instagram posts rocking the hats, but it didn't uh, really quite catch on. Yeah. Travis Scott was seen rocking it in 2018. Tiger too. Tiger? Yeah. So what are your thoughts oh, on this? Oh, okay. Do you there, want huh? this trend to come back? Look, man, it, those three people already started on the wrong foot when it comes to like, can I relate to that? Like mm, if it was like maybe like Pharrell or like Pharrell. Von Dutch yeah, as a brand back, yeah. to me is not close enough to this like streetwear culture exactly. that we're in. Agreed. Even, a lot of have, could, even we have Travis Scott trying to a lot of people could it. say that about Chrome Hearts as well. Ooh. That's even that more like silver, gothy, yep. like rock metal. When yeah, I think of Von Dutch, I think of like Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears when they wore the matching or, denim uh, outfit, Dennis Rodman? you know, back then. Yeah. There's nothing that I it's would little, want to relate to Dennis Rodman fashion wise. It's okay. a little too like Fire. country it's, for me. That's like, what you, I'm you know saying. The, oh, um, straw, the, the straw, you know what I mean? The straw. Like, You're better straw off at your mouth. People be chewing straws? Wheat straw. It's a little too cowboy ish. Cowboy ish. I think it's in the past, yeah, it I think it's so callish. I think if you're a surfer babe and you just wear surfer it casually, babe, huh? I think it looks dope. All right, well, but we're not back. surfer babe. Von, du- Von Dutch is like Ed Hardy. But I mean, it's, it's ugly. Back. It's not coming back. It's staying in the past. I'm agree. I'm I don't agree. think it's coming back. Leave him, I don't think leave it should come back past. either. Do not bring it back. Do oh, not bring everybody it back. agree not bringing it yeah. back. I guess we're not bringing it back, guys. <laughs> All right. All right. So last but not least, we got wearing sneakers with tuxes and suits. Predominantly 11, you know what I mean? But uh, let me know what you guys think That's of this. Door, Big friend. for school dances, weddings. Mm-hmm. Things Those things we don't, don't have. happen. Yeah, I was going to say, they don't happen anymore. Rich. I, I, I'm not going to knock that look, okay? Because I think you have some younger viewers that still go to prom and homecoming and that's what they want to wear. I mean, back in the day, I did not want to wear dress shoes. I don't know what it you was. You dance in them. You don't even want to dance in them. True. You know? Now watch me whip, whip. Oh, it's just for some reason oh, it was dancing, uncomfortable. Bro. You need it made me look, <laughs> made me look too grip, old. The wall it the wasn't grip. my taste. <laughs> you know, it wasn't my taste. So I... <laughs> I don't know. I kind of seen a uh, uh, Cassius Stanley who kind of rocked the he Dior's. Did it clean with those the, that was clean. That was with the blue suit. But we're talking Dior's here, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. Yeah, different, different, like, different yeah. level. Dior's classy. Like it's classy. classy. <laughs> I think with oh, no. a pair of low top Jordan ones, any any it could just as long as they're OG color. I think yeah. would be clean with the suit. I actually saw tan. You wore a little turtleneck suit outfit with your Dior uh, Chucks. I mean, overall, yeah, that was, yeah, I get it. I'm not going to rock 11s. Yeah. But I will be open to rocking, you know, tennis shoes with my suit. This is like just fast forward in high school. Mm -hmm. I think it depends, though. Do you think the popularity has died down a little bit because 11s have died down and 11s wore that shoe to wear a Chuck suit? You know what I mean? Just because it's COVID and we don't see it anymore. (laughs) I I think it's cool when the actual, just the groom wears the 11s and not the groomsmen. I think it looks a little weird when the groomsmen all have 11s really? on. You know, <laughs> all got the same, but, but I can see where you're coming from because it does. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. What if it's the groom has the fire colorway and then the rest have like regular? Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Like, so he's or, got the, like he's all got the heat. Gray. He got the heat. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Or the groomsmen okay. have like Nike IDs. Is it you know? tacky to you guys? Yes. <laughs> yes. The uh, 11s, again, I think it's a little. I'm gonna say 11s. 11s. Oh, 11s. Okay, because you wore the sneakers. And you know, at the end of the day, I do like the look of 
switching up your formal dress shoes, you know, with, with some sneakers. You know, yeah, you, got, make, you got Dior, you got the Louis Vuitton trainers. Okay, so you're it, you're with you're not I'm, with the 11s, but you're with sneakers. Maybe 11 lows. You, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, with 11. I'm with yeah. it. I'm with it. I like the tennis shoes. It's just I'm gravitating towards away from the 11. I think people are starting to be open yeah. with wearing other yeah. tennis shoes like besides the, the like 11. Like the Jordan yeah. 2s, right? Jordan 2s are cool. Who likes No one talked about... Why did you even bring those Like up? the lows? Mine said 2s, I think the 2s could, <laughs> could be that shoe for the dress, you know? No, no one we don't know. <laughs> I'm being serious. I can't tell you know? if you're being serious. Look, you know 100%, what? No, no, no. 100%. As I, long as it's not the 11, as long as it's just more tennis shoes, different. I'm open for it. I like the idea. The bin 2s, the brown, you know? Oh, that's oh, not bad. No, I, I think it'd be cool like at a wedding if like the groom wears actual dress shoes like during the ceremony, whatever. And then when it's time to get down, then you get down. And I think that's okay. I think I think at the end of the day, what people want is to show your love for sneakers, right? That's what yes. I was gonna say. So that still does that, yep. or I don't know. That's why people do it. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, I'm gonna back up the people that do wear 11s to weddings. Still, a lot of these people, you have to keep in mind, they don't have a plethora heads. of shoes the way we do. A plethora of shoes the way we no, do. No, they just like the 11s. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I, your friends over there at Nike. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I think they it's a, it's a exclusive eleven. <laughs> huh? I think it's a good opportunity for someone to bring some personality out. <laughs> Man, y'all hating. No, I get it. Okay, I get it. I just think it's cool that you know you could wear more tennis shoes nowadays. Is it? it, I, think is it looks still. Is I think it, yeah, it's a nice transition. Is it okay Especially, for like prom kids versus weddings, or is it all the same? All the same. Well, all prom same. kids are no rules in it. Mm. All ages. I All think ages. it's. I, think I it's, say for the the prom, you can rock the eleven. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. Because you because you in the gym. Wedding, you in the gym already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That grip. You, you, yeah. you know. And then no, wedding, do some ones. Maybe maybe some, some low ones. tops. Maybe yeah, some low okay, top okay. eleven. Like right. Just well, wear let what, us you know like. what you guys think. Let us know what you guys think. I like the trend. No, wear what's special to you. Bring it back. Keep it up. Actually, keep rocking them. Keep rocking the sneakers. Keep doing what you do, baby. Rocking them sneakers.